Yeah. Ah, oh, Wendy, I am so stoked to be spending the night at your house. We're gonna have such a blast. Forgot, you are a trooper, you know? I cannot believe how well you are taking your parents' divorce. Oh, it'll be okay. No, I mean, it's your family breaking up. Oh, my gosh, I am so grateful my parents are still together. Fine! <laughs> I'll set the table. I made the dinner because apparently I do everything around here because I'm your slave, Roy! Oh, are you? Are you my slave? That is your master. I command you to shut up so we can have five minutes of silence. Hey, Mom, Dad, uh, this is my friend Beth. She's gonna spend the night. Hi, Beth. Hi. Oh, Beth, hi, Beth, right. How is your poor mother? Uh. Oh, no, she's fine. In fact, she goes out all the time now, and she's taking flamenco lessons. <laughs> what a tragedy. Oh. <laughs> well, dinner is being served by me because I do everything around here. You're right, you do. You do all the bitching, all the complaining, and all the misery making in this God forsaken house. Do you mean the house that my parents are letting us live in rent free? Is that the house you're talking about, Mr. Markman's clown? You knew I had a bad back when you married me. I'm getting a beer. Ah, oh, well, don't strain your bad back getting it. I got it, I got it. <laughs> I'm sorry, this must be so weird for you. Yeah, a little. Oh, don't be sad. Not everybody's parents can stay together. I'm just lucky. Mmm. <sighs> ah, no eating until I say grace. Grace! <laughs> <laughs> That was hilarious. There it is. There's that trademark wit and clever banter that makes you such a hit at all the cocktail parties we're never invited to! <laughs> or maybe, just maybe, we're never invited because someone got so hammered she drove the caterer's truck into the Stepanic swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> Can we start? Please, please, please enjoy the meal that I've prepared. Yes, girls. Let's take a look at the wonderful food your mother has slaved over. <laughs> a Caesar salad? What, lettuce, croutons, and dressing in a bowl? How did you do it, my dear? How did you find the time? Are you some kind of wizard? Roy. I am begging you with every fiber of my being. Can we please have one dinner that is not drowning in your condescension and malice? Hey, Beth and I get to cheer at the game against Kenwood Academy. Oh, oh yeah, and you know what? They picked us over two seniors, and like that never happens. Oh. <laughs> you know, girls, I used to be a cheerleader. Oh. Really? Yeah, about 50 pounds ago. What does that even mean? What are you even talking about, Roy, huh? Look at me, look at me! <laughs> I am the same weight that I was in high school. Where would 50 pounds even come from? From your big, fat mouth! <laughs> to see this. Mrs. Strange! No, no, Kathy, don't, please, for once in your life, oh, yeah. think of someone other than yourself. Stab me! Shove that knife in my chest! Put me out of my misery! I would love you're, nothing you're more than to have <laughs> you took blood on my hands, but I care too much about our daughter to have her grow up in the nightmare that is a single-parent household! I could never do that to her! Never! Why do you think I'm waiting? 
wait until she goes to college so I can leave you. I have scraped and raced in order to construct the perfect childhood for this girl. Oh, I will never be happy unless she's happy. And I will never be happy. You want to go spend the night at my mom's house? Totally. <laughs>